Back to Vetter in the middle. Quick shot and a save made. Might have hit the pipe. Now they'll start to spread out. Quick shot. They score. And that's Jen Wheaton. Belongs to the Skyhawks. So the net goes boo. Shot. Rips it. Fire. And it's 2 0 Stonehill. Wayna. Wayna led the team with five goals in their previous game. Quick shot. Nice save by Grant. She finds herself on the other side. Dished off. Quick shot. Score. And Gilman's assist total should be added there as she got it to Brianna Doherty. Now Gilman along to Vetter. Vetter to the net. Shot. Scores. Good cut. High to low. Shot. Scores. Back to Shanahan in the middle. Off to Doherty. Nice pass through the middle. Shot to save me. No, they, it goes in. And this time they call it against St. Mike's. Now a chance back the other way. Shannon with good speed. Shot. Scores. Shannon with the snipe. Let's see where they go here. Cut to the middle. Better shot. Save initially and she kept it out. No, they're going to call it a goal. Chance. 20 goals in the year but does not have one tonight. Sort of flinch before the shot goes in. Scores. Coming from Alex Vincent. Many moons ago to the middle. Chance there, but good defense again from Stonehill. Oliver had a chance to take a quick shot. There's a chance, and they score. Half, one to one. Now along to Oliver. To the middle shot, score. Oliver finds Paige McKinnon out. Makes contact. Ball's loose. Still letting him play. Up in the air. Shot, scores. Off the Plesha with a lane shot score. Plesha puts it in her own hands there. Free position chances. And just electing to kill off clock versus taking attempts at the net. Better tries to slam it in and she does. Quick shot, she scores. Doherty off the left hand. So a couple big games coming up here for the Skyhawks. Nice move to the net from Booth. Shot scores. Booth with the speed gets around her defender. Also got around. We have um, a lot of senior leadership on attack, which is great. And we have some really good freshmen. So I think the combination of that has made us really good. And we're a lot more balanced this year than last year's. Um, and yeah, I think we were... Um, we got together towards like the end of the game in the middle, and uh, we got all involved on attack, and Shannon's been doing a really good job of keeping everyone involved. So. Draw is obviously really important, and like me and Jen have all been switching off, and I would say the draw is always about like matchup, just because like um, what I do was working today doesn't mean I'm better than Jen, and like some days Jen is better and at, at a specific girl. So, and I think it's really important we push each other to do better, uh, and today, you know, we made it work, and we... Uh, we're able to get a lot of possessions. I think um, usually throughout our games we take like to take like a 10-15 minute break and um, we slow down a little bit and um, last game it was kind of we, we were able to dig ourselves out of that and I think that was important for today to hold on to that win and uh, keep pushing. We're looking back that I've, I'm a senior now um, I feel like it flew by I wish I was a freshman again but um, it's been so fun I've had a lot of injuries which stinks I've torn my meniscus twice but and that was something that was really hard to overcome, but I was proud that I've been able to do that. And um, I just I wouldn't be where I am without my teammates. Like they're assisting like all of my goals. Like and I, I get get to assist them. And like I just I'm so happy that I was able to play at Stonehill. We have to feed off of our own momentum from our past games and from uh, we always say we have to like celebrate the little things. And sometimes we get away from that. But if we do that on Saturday, we're gonna have a big crowd. If we feed off of that and keep our momentum going, I think we should come out with a win on Saturday. We started out strong enough. We had plenty of opportunities. I don't think we were shooting great, so the score was kind of tight. But then we went on a little bit of a run in, at the end of the first half. And we were sitting pretty at halftime going into the second half, but it was a little bit more of the same. I think our shooting just killed us. You know, we had plenty of opportunities. It's not like we didn't have great options or great looks. We just really, really struggled finishing them. That's kind of what you expect your seniors to take over, right? And they did. And, you know, so although 
combined, I think they had 15 shots, but no, they finished strong and they played well. And I think they controlled the pace pretty well. Like I said, it wasn't, it really was just a matter of executing that very final step of shooting. I thought the attack did a really good job of moving and running their sets and all that stuff. I even said to them at the halftime, like X's and O's, everything is right, you know, but at the end of the day, we're just not putting the ball in the back of the net. I think we got a little frantic. I felt like we, you know, we had a couple looks that we should have finished that we didn't, and then they fe then they felt like they had to make, you know, they had to score right away, and it's just all about timing. And, you know, like defensively, we had to mix things up quite a bit because we had a bunch of kids out, some sort of plagues going on. So we have a lot of kids playing positions they don't typically play, and then to have to play it that often, you know, you end up making mistakes. Bree's definitely putting it together. I mean, she has certainly put in the work in the off season, in the off season, and she deserves the opportunity, and she's getting it. And I think she's figuring out what works for her and what doesn't, and she's holding her own. I mean, Katie Healy is really good, really quick, really aggressive, and I think that since day one, Katie has come so far. Like she, if you watch her on defense, she's extremely good on defense and she really understands her role and we ask her to do an awful lot for us and she does it she does it all very well I mean that's our conference it's like every game there's no gimmies and there's no you know there's there's none that you get to like you know just sit out and get a W you have to fight for every win and we did that the last two days so I'm psyched I mean you know it's like beating Southern New Hampshire in that fashion is exactly what we have to do and then coming out and being able to rest some kids and still pull off a win against St. Mike's is huge and then we have to take care of business on Saturday I mean it's a huge 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 re regional game for us huge I mean we expect a very fast-paced game we expect to have to defend at least 25 shots you know in a rough midfield to transition through it just the way it was last year I mean they're a very good scrappy scrappy team and they're up and coming I guess technically because they're new but we're pretty familiar with a lot of these kids. It's not going to be the first time we've seen them, but we're prepared, and it's just a matter of how smart we play and how hard we play, I think.